Welcome back to Metal Loop. Today we're doing a couple maintenance items on this 2016 Prius C2. We're going to change the oil and some air filters. All of the parts, tools, and specifications are in the description below, especially if you're looking for Toyota OEM part numbers for the items you see here. Let's get started. While we pop the hood on this Prius and start setting up, I wanted to ask for your help on reaching 1,000 subscribers. Achieving this will unlock advanced YouTube features like earning ad revenue for this channel, which gives me the opportunity to keep making quality DIY videos like this for you and everyone else. A minute of your time to click subscribe and like can influence what I might get a chance to work on next. Thank you for your support. You'll see here that the grade of oil is on the oil cap. Let's also check the condition of the gaskets and make sure the cap looks in good condition. We'll leave the cap off to help the oil drain quicker. I also like to do a quick check of the oil level and color. These quick visual checks on a dipstick can really help us confirm that there are no bad leaks or issues with the engine. The oil looks pretty clean on this Prius. Now, let's race the car. First, we'll put some wheel chocks on the rear wheels. Then we'll find the jack point so that we can jack up the car. This area is a reinforced part of the frame to help us lift the car without damaging anything. Once the car is lifted, we'll want to use a jack stand for safety. Under the frame here is a good spot to lower onto the jack stand. For the location of the oil pan drain bolt and oil filter, you'll need to remove an underbody panel located here. There are four fasteners holding it down. You can use a 10mm socket or a Phillips head screwdriver. I'm trying out a Milwaukee compact ratcheting bit driver, and it feels pretty good. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see me showcase more tools during these DIY guides. To note on these screws, they are held in by metal clips that can fall out, so be on the lookout for those. Now that the panel is removed, you'll see that the drain bolt is located here. We'll need a 14mm socket, and I'm using my favorite 3 8 ratchet from GearWrench. I'll have links to this and some of my other favorite tools in the description below. The plug wasn't over tightened too badly, so now that it's broken loose, we can do the rest by hand and enjoy the money shot. The crush washer likes to get stuck, so if you don't see it on the drain plug, it's probably here. A pick or small screwdriver will pop it off. With that done, let's clean off the area and the plug too, so that we can use a new crush washer. Now we can thread the plug back in, and with the torque wrench, we can tighten down to 28 foot-pounds. These clicks are my favorite sound. With the plug back in place, from here, we can make our way to the oil filter, which is tucked up in this nook here. This Prius has an aftermarket filter, and in hindsight, I should have tried the 64mm 14 flue cap wrench from Motivix that I used in my Highlander and RAV4 videos. Instead, this cap wrench was a 65 to 67mm size, and it was just too big. It kept slipping off the filter, so I decided I'd show how to use classic oil filter pliers, though this isn't the best example. Because the filter is up in a tight space, I basically pinched it from the bottom, which ended up bending the housing so that I could break loose the filter. From there, I removed the rest of the way by hand. I don't think there's any way to get the filter off without getting your hands dirty, but let me know if you have a trick to do this properly. Now we can clean up all the oil that dripped on the panel. For the new filter, I'm using a Toyota OEM one, and the part number is in the description. We'll take some oil, doesn't matter if it's new or old, and generously apply it to the gasket to help it seal. Unlike the aftermarket filter, this filter does fit the 65 to 67 mm 14 flute cap wrench. For now, I'm going to just tighten it down by hand. And here, you'll see me replacing one of those metal clips that fell out when I removed the panel. Make sure you see one for each screw hole, as that is what the screws fasten into. Once we clean up a bit more, because my hands were oily and the angle bad, I just used the cap wrench to confirm that the filter was snug. I barely turned the filter as I didn't want to over tighten it for the next person. Now we can put the panel back on. Again, make sure the screw holes are lined up with the clip and fasten the screws back into place like I'm doing here. We'll check that the panel is secure and we're good to go. With that, we're now done under the car, so we can remove the jack stand and put the car back down. Don't forget about the wheel chocks too. At the engine bay, we can begin filling oil. Today we're using a Castro Edge 020 weight with the API Starburst, showing that it meets ILSAC 6 standards. The Prius C2 needs 3.9 quarts of oil. Let's start with 3.5 quarts, and then we'll circulate the oil. I wasn't actually used to Toyota's hybrid system, and it took me a while to figure out how to force the engine on. 
I believe I shifted the car out of park and that worked. By the way, I forgot to film resetting the oil service reminder, but the steps are in the description below when you're done the video. And after a couple more minutes to let the oil settle, let's check the dipstick and see where the level is. We're about two thirds up from the minimum mark. And since the rule of thumb is the min to max line represents about one quart of oil, that works out pretty close to the 0.4 quarts of oil we still need. So we'll put the funnel back in and measure out the last 0.4 quarts. Then let's check the dipstick one more time. All right, that looks right below the max line, which is perfect. We'll clean up, put the cap back on and move on to the next maintenance item, which is the air cleaner that we have the OEM part here. The air filter box is only held on by two clips, which we can remove by hand. Gently lift up and the old filter can slide right out. This filter looks original, which is okay, since the car only has about 30,000 miles on it, and that's about when Toyota recommends replacing the air cleaner anyways. We'll take the new filter and make sure the fins are facing downward. Make sure the filter is snug in the box so that it doesn't leak. Then close the box and put the two clips back on. And now that we're done here, we can move on to the final maintenance item, which is the cabin air filter, also a Toyota OEM part. The cabin filter is located behind the glove box, which requires no tools to remove. Let's get started there. The first step is to unclip the retaining bracket for the glove box. Once that is removed, there are two tabs near the top of the glove box that need to be squeezed inward to clear the dashboard. That allows the glove box to fall off its hinge and be pulled out. Squeeze the tabs on the right side here, and the cover will pull right off. And right behind there is the air filter. The filter can then be removed, and this one is completely used up. You also see that there is writing on the left side with indicators on which direction the filter goes in. The new OEM filter has the same writing, so we'll make sure it's pointing up and that the writing is on the left side facing the driver's seat. Once that's done, we can put the filter cover back on. It's a little tricky as it looks like it has tabs on both sides, but only the right side locks in place. Now the glove box can go back on and you don't have to squeeze here to get the tabs to clear. A gentle push will get the glove box locked back in place. Then secure the retaining bracket on the side, and the glove box is back in and working perfectly. Let's test it by putting the owner's manual back in, where it should be. Like seriously, keep your manual there. And that's it, I hope you enjoyed this maintenance guide for a 2016 Toyota Prius C2. Today we changed the oil, replaced the intake air filter, and cabin air filter too. If you have a different Toyota, maybe it's a Highlander on a RAV4, which I've done oil changes that are popping up now. Thanks again for helping me reach 1,000 subscribers, and your likes really help too. I'm Alan, and this is Metaloop. I'll see you next time.